Do you know what is the one thing that makes us us? What determines our traits and characters? Hello and welcome back to a new video of Explore Bio. Today I will tell you about an interesting ingredient of our lives called as genome. We will see what it is made of, why is it so much important for us and at last we will see what wonders can be done with it. So let's begin. In every organism, whether it's a virus, a bacteria, a plant, animal or a human, genome is present in all. Genome is the entire set of genetic material in an organism. In eukaryotes, it includes the nuclear genome that has DNA which is appropriately condensed to form chromosome. Then there are circular mitochondrial genome in animals and plants have an additional plastidial genome. The totality of all these genetic materials is termed as genome. In prokaryotes, the genome is smaller and exists in the cytoplasm of the cell. Prokaryotes may have additional genomes, for example, the plasmids. Organisms like viruses can have RNA as a genome. Genome is made up of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid or it may be RNA or ribonucleic acid. Genome is made up of genes and intergenic regions. The genes make RNA that code for proteins or non-coding RNAs such as rRNA, tRNA, microRNA, long non-coding RNAs, pyYRNA, etc. Both the coding and the non-coding RNAs may have structural, functional or regulatory roles. On the other hand, the intergenic regions were largely considered as junk DNA because their significance in the genome was not known. But newer findings suggest they include promoter, enhancer regions and other regulatory elements. Our DNA or genome is nothing but biological information written with four chemical bases or nucleotides. These are more commonly seen as a compact and organized structure with proteins called as chromosomes. But why do we have a genome? To me, the genome serves two major roles. First, just like our hard drives or SSDs, which stores important information in digital forms of zeros and ones, the genome stably stores the biological information in the form of four chemical bases which can be replicated and transferred from one cell to another identical cell through mitosis or it may recombine during meiosis giving rise to somewhat different organism generating more diversity. The next important thing is that information stored in the genome can be decoded or expressed in a specific manner which means although all our cells have nearly identical DNA the expression of one or more genes occur in a regulated manner. The gene expression is altered by many factors our environment, our thoughts, our feelings, the food we eat, our age, etc. The end product of the gene expression is a phenotype. How an organism looks, its immunity against diseases, yield of a crop, its nutritional characteristics and others. Thus such factors affect our DNA making certain genes to express producing a particular phenotype that makes us us and determines our attributes. Genomics is the branch of genetics in which we study the genome, what it is made of, the sequence of the genome. We study the genome structure or its organization, number of genes, their locations, intron and exons, regulatory elements, repeats and others. In functional genomics, we use different approaches like tDNA insertions, EMS mutagenesis, genetic mapping, gene expression analysis, etc. to determine its functional significance. In comparative genomics, we compare the genome sequence and organization of various organisms or species to see the genetic relatedness, diversity or evolutionary relationship among them. Coming on to what wonders we can do with the information of the genome. Once we have the information about the genome, we can find which genes or genomic regions are responsible for a particular trait of an organism. And once we know that, it's the role of scientists to play around with those one or more genes in a manner to develop better variety or cure a disease or produce a drug. Using breeding, mutagenesis, genetic engineering and other approaches, you can recombine traits 
knock out or stop a gene from expressing or you can suppress expression of a gene or overexpress to get higher copies of a protein. You can also make an organism to express a newer protein which was not there earlier. You can engineer a protein with better properties and function. So these are some of the major wonders that can be done with the genomic information. It's the genome that makes us us. And with genomics, we explore the biological code to serve for better. If you like the video, do share with others. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get informed about my latest uploads. Check my playlist on diverse biology topics. Thanks and see you in my another video.